war between Israel and Hamas now starting its second week. The situation at the border between Gaza and Egypt is still unclear. The crossing remains closed. There is no ceasefire agreement in place, which would allow foreign national Palestinians to get out or would allow for any aid to get in there. NBC's Kelly Kobiea is in Tel Aviv with the latest. Lots to update you on. First, that Rafah crossing in Gaza. That's the crossing between uh, Gaza and Egypt, which we've been talking so much about the past couple of days. Still no signs that it is about to open, but there are hundreds of people there, foreign nationals, people who have foreign passports as well as uh, family in uh, the Gaza Strip waiting to get across that border. Uh, Antony Blinken, Secretary of State, has said Rafa will reopen. He said that yesterday, but at this hour, intense uh, negotiations are going on internationally with the United Nations, Israel, Egypt, and the U.S. to try to find a way uh, to briefly open that border, briefly if need be, to allow aid into Gaza and to allow those foreign passport holders to get out of Gaza, including an unknown number of Americans. Some five to 600 Americans are actually in Gaza right now, according to uh, U.S. officials. So not much movement, sadly, on that at this hour. The Israeli Defense uh, Forces say that about 600,000 people have now made their way to the south, keeping in mind that about half the population of Gaza is in uh, northern Gaza, uh, so about a million people. So a, a huge number of people have now made their way out, but there is still a danger to them uh, and a humanitarian danger as well as a danger from airstrikes. Israeli airstrikes continuing throughout the night and today hitting Hamas targets. And there is a Security Council meeting uh, for the Israeli government tonight at 8 o'clock. So we may know more about Israel's war plans as of tonight. Guys, back to you. That was NBC's Kelly Kobiea reporting from Tel Aviv.